Hello again, everybody. It is the coach. You're tuned in to Madden 19 on EA Sports. Coming up next, we've got what should be a good one between the Denver Broncos and the New England Patriots. With that, let's head on up to Foxborough. Standing by with the call at Gillette Stadium, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. A moment ago, the pride of Massachusetts, the Patriots, introduced to this, as always, sold-out crowd as they get set to go head-to-head -head with the Denver Broncos. Happy to be on hand. I'm Brandon Gordon with Charles Davis. And before we kick, partner, your keys to the game, please. Well, my keys are on the defensive side of the ball for both teams. And the big one, making sure you avoid giving up the big play. These safeties are going to get tested all game long. Their job, keep the ball in front of them, tackle people, make them run extra plays in order to try and score. It's the first weekend of autumn, and the NFL is in full swing as off we go on EA Sports. That's fielded in the end zone. Yeah, some might have returned that one. He won't. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start the drive from the 25. So here are the Broncos now for their opening drive. They're led onto the field by their quarterback, the former Houston Cougar, Case Keenum. And what a career he had for the Cougars. How about over 5,000 yards passing? in three seasons there, each of three seasons. And it hasn't stopped because last year in Minnesota, 2017 for the Vikings, over 3,500 yards, went 11 and three as a starter, he still has the magic. First carry for Devontae Booker, and he powers his way up past the 30. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position, now more than ever, is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes, and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. A second down carry for Booker. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards. And it'll bring up a third and two more. The offensive starters now for the Broncos. Let's focus outside on Demarius Thomas. His numbers were down slightly last year. First time in the last five years he didn't top 1,000 yards. But this guy's been to five Pro Bowls. And when I think about the evolution of his career, from his time at Georgia Tech where they were running an option offense and he didn't catch much more than bombs, to now being a complete receiver, no reason in my mind to think he won't be over 1,000 yards again in the future. Third and short, it's Booker, and he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30, losing four yards that time, and now it's fourth down. Well, so much for picking it up on the ground on third down, third play of the drive, and this defense showing strong early. I wonder how much of that was scouting. I wonder how much of that was a gut feeling like, okay, let's just go ahead and sell out here and get after them, thinking they're going to run the football and stuff them early because they've now set the tone. They've set a precedent right here. If you're going to try and run the ball against us, it could be hard going throughout this game. So on fourth down, here's Marquette King to punt it away. Back deep is Philip Dorsett. And he didn't quite have the backspin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. So here come the Patriots now on offense. And they're led out by a guy who's done just about everything you could ever imagine to do in this league, the great Tom Brady. It's been a lot of fun watching him develop in his career. But that will to win, he's had that probably since birth. And it transmits itself throughout his entire ball club. Watching him play, it can be an absolute joy unless you're on the other team. So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 at the 20. A first carry now for Rex Burkhead. And flags come in as he gets forward for about three yards. Now let's check on the call. Illegal block in the back. Offense. It's 
until first down. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got to jump here. Encroachment, defense. So they jumped on the left side of that line. And you know when you're at the end spot, Still first you down. are like in the starting blocks, waiting for the pistol to fire and go, and he jumped a little bit too early. Play fake here on first down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Shaquille Barrett in from his linebacker spot. He's able to drop him for a loss of about 10. Okay, partner, a couple points of interest right here, all right? Offensively, we see that they came out throwing the football, but maybe more importantly, the blitz that came defensively, they got right after it. And you were telling me pregame before we came on air, you think this is something we could see a lot. Yeah, there's no doubt about it because this is a unit that wants to play the game on their terms. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. By 20! By 20! Brady going to give this one to Burkhead. And he's up past the 10 to about the 12. Now let's give you a look here at the New England offense. But well, we all know that Rob Gronkowski is one of the premier tight ends in the NFL, but what makes him that way is the size. We see that. The ability to run. He's faster than a lot of wide receivers. The agility. He's almost like a power forward in basketball. And the competitiveness. When that ball is released, he decides it's his and no one else's. And some secondary help here for the defense and the nickel on third and long. Hey, new 20! My 20! From the gun, it's Brady. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. It's not often that we put the word overthrow next to the name Tom Brady. His accuracy is so good that when there are misses, they're usually not by much. So when we see one like that, I, you look, scratch your head a you little scratch bit. Scratch your head. We're chuckling about the whole thing. Let's see. Let's see how fired up he gets about it, though, because you know he likes to atone for his errors. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Broncos take over. First down and 10. Now the Broncos offense, they get set to head back onto the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach. Can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Keenum going to lead the Broncos up now first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Throwing on first down is Keenum. He's got it, the tight end Jeff Hireman. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. They go play action here on first down. 
And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 18 big yards on that one and a Denver first. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now a play fake, and it's Keenum. And this is caught for a Bronco touchdown. Day shot Hamilton, 28 yards. And the Broncos have taken the early lead. And when the quarterback drops and has a guy that wide open in the end zone, his eyes have to get just as big as grapefruits. Oh, without a doubt. Hey, this is the easiest throw you're going to get, and you're going to get the benefit of a touchdown on top of it. Make that throw. On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. McManus' point after is good, and it's now a 7-0 game. So they only needed three plays on that drive, and it culminates in a touchdown by the Broncos. Now McManus on to kick this one off. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Brady and the Patriots now first and 10 at their own 26. They'll run. This is Burkhead. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Well, you had to punt on your first drive, and on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. 220, 380. Brady to throw on second down. He targets Jordan Matthews and it's caught. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Give him 15 yards on that one and New England has a first down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's across the 43, extra yards to the 43. And give him four yards there, it'll be second and six. And the big meet on the D-line, we'll see how they do today. And I'd hate to be an offensive lineman having to deal with these guys. They come in hungry, mean, and confident. They think that no one can block them. Alert, alert. Wait, 20! Wait, 20! 
On second down, here's Brady. Slant route, caught by Edelman. And he'll be corralled out across midfield, down to the 45. Edelman's first catch, and it's good for a first down. That time a slant, Brady in general on those quick hitters, he just releases the ball so fast. He does, and he's so accurate, but most of the time, he wins before the ball's even snapped by his pre-snap read. Finds out where the defense is and delivers it to the proper place. So a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 45-yard line. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. One quarter in the books. 7 nothing is our score. And we'll return to Foxborough after this. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gauden, it's the Patriots in possession to begin quarter number two. They face a second and seven to start things out. Looking for his all-pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski, and it's third down. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And he'll have his man, that's Edelman. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. Brady to his old reliable Edelman, and the Patriots have a first down. And finding Edelman underneath, that's a recipe for success. Typical route for a good slot receiver, and Edelman's one of the best in the game. Knows how to go inside what one of my college coaches used to call the briar patch. Got to go in there where it's tough and make those tough catches. And not only can he do it, he can often run away from people after the catch. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Blue 20, green 80. Now Burkhead. And an alley to run. And he'll get down to about the 26-yard line. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. They'll run it here. This is James White. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. It's Burkhead. Open space inside the 10. And he's all the way down to the six-yard line. That one good for 17 yards. And now they've got it first and goal. Whenever we meet with coaches and they always talk about wanting to establish running the football, it's oftentimes with really a good tight end who can control the line of scrimmage and the point of attack. And they're becoming harder to find because the colleges are giving us a whole lot of receiving tight ends, former wide receivers who can run, not necessarily block very well. In this case, though, we saw two tight ends on the field, both of them with the ability to block, and he ran the ball successfully behind that power set. To throw, it's Brady. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. He was looking for Julian Edelman that time. That'll bring up second down. Oh 
They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Shotgun now for Brady. And caught by Hogan for a Patriot touchdown. Chris Hogan from six yards away. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball out of the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. Goskowski the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So that drive, 12 plays in length, and it ends with a New England touchdown. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Broncos offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed, what you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Keenum going to lead the Broncos up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The drive starts with Devontae Booker. <laughs> And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one, 28 yards on the ground. Well, plenty of credit has to go to the guy carrying the ball. He broke the tackle and gained the yardage. But that doesn't necessarily mean that the defender's bad. They're not going to make 100% of the tackles all the time. Even the best in the game will miss one occasionally. The key is not to let it snowball and miss tackle after tackle. On that play, credit to the offense, but that doesn't make the defense bad. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. On play action, now Keenum. And that's complete to the tight end, Hireman. And he's got this down to the 35. A Bronco first down there, 12 yards on the play. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now a first down throw, Keenum. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Two minutes to play in a tightly contested first half. Back to Foxborough after this.
reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coach's two-minute drill. First and ten, Keenum. Forced out to his left. And he will avoid the contact as he slides to a stop. Fifteen more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Broncos with their first trip to the red zone thus far. This is first and goal from about the eight. Throwing now is Keenum. They set up the screen to Booker. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Got to give some credit there defensively. They snuffed out that screen early on first down. Really read it well, didn't they? Because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected. They covered all the passing lanes. So once you see it break down as the passer, I think in this situation, you're either throwing it at the feet of your back to make sure no one picks it off, or you throw it away, throw it over the sideline. Don't try and freelance and try and make a bigger play. There's really no one else running a pattern that should be open. It's second and goal back to the eight-yard line now. From the gun, it's Keenum. The quick slant caught. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. Emmanuel Sanders from eight yards out. And the Broncos are in for six. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. McManus now for the extra point. Extra point from McManus is good. And that makes the score 14-7. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it ends with a Denver touchdown. Now McManus on to kick this one off. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So the Patriots coming out now. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure, if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk this is a big decision here. Brady now on first down. To the left side and complete for Julian Edelman. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. So the offense takes the timeout, and they are back out and ready to rock. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Hey, 
throwing on first down is Brady. And right side caught Hogan. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So the offense took the timeout. Looks like they're ready to go as we get set to resume the action. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. On first down, Brady. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. A play fake for Burkhead, now Brady. He's gonna look deep down, the, that's caught inside the 20. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Give him 30 yards there. Into the red zone, it's Brady. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Oi, 20. New 20. Throwing again. Brady fights free at the five. His throw caught right around the six. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Brady to throw again. That's a man, and it's Edelman for the Patriot touchdown. 
Julian Edelman in the final seconds of the first half. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic, but usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever. There it results in a touchdown. Extra point good by Gaskowski. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and ten. And we will likely not see another play here as they take the knee and head into the intermission all tied. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in and we have not been disappointed. But they are all even to this point. So to see if either side can pull away, let's get you right back out to Brandon and Charles for the start of the second half. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Patriots offense now. They work their way back onto the field. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game. We'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Got to wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You've got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan's showing you. So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Here's a carry now for Mike Gillisley. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. Well, that one was over before it could get rolling. How about the D just knifing into the backfield and shutting that one down? Go. 
After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Wait, 20. Wait, 20. They'll run now with Burkhead. And he'll get this one up to the 26. It's the linebacker, Brandon Marshall, there on the tackle. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. On play action, it's Brady. Looking for Gronkowski, and he's got him complete. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. Ah, yes, Brady to Gronk. You think these two are in sync? Without a doubt, and look, they both understand what they can do for each other. Gronk knows if he gets open, the ball's going to be there. And Tom Brady knows what a great security blanket Gronk is. When all else fails, he find big 87. Brady hitting on two-thirds of his passes, 10 for 15 so far, first and 10. By 20! By 20! Go, go. From the gun, it's Brady. Goes right side, complete to Gronk. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Sometimes the most effective routes are the ones that you run in the backyard. You probably ran them when you were five years old. How about a little curl there against zone? But the key to it is finding the open spots in the zone. How a linebacker or a defensive back will widen to give you space. Find that area and let your quarterback hit you. So a first and ten now in Denver territory at the 49-yard line. Wait, 20. Now Brady. And Dwayne Allen on the ground. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. By 20! Now they try the right side here. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. But just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Now we all know that an offensive coordinator and quarterback, they're aligned at the hip. But when you've got a runner who can get you that kind of yardage, that guy's invaluable. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Right back to him on first down. And he'll get four here down to the 35-yard line. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Now Brady throwing on second down. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Julian Edelman, the intended receiver, third down here. New England on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This will be third and six. Operating from the gun, Brady, and he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first, but at least it's fourth down. He's lucky to be getting that one back. After what they've done with him all day long with all the targets trying to go after him, he's obviously gotten smart, and his pride has kicked in. Made a terrific play. So now on fourth down, on comes Steven Goskowski to try and get the patch three. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. 
And Goskowski's kick is good. And they take a 17-14 lead. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point, or in this case, a field goal. Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. So now a look at the Broncos as they head back out there for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Yeah, shocker. <laughs> try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. On first and 10, here's Keenum. And his throw is going to be incomplete. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. They'll hand off to Booker, and he'll get this one up to the 26. Only a yard on the pickup there, so it leaves them needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. Throwing his Keenum on third down. And that is incomplete. This has been a really nice day for the defense. They've made it so difficult to find open receivers because they're able to squeeze the passing lanes down. A lot of what they're doing is communicating. Receivers in one area, receivers in another area. They're almost what they call passing them off from one defender to the next, even in zone defenses, and making it very hard to find an open spot for the quarterback to deliver the ball. Here's Marquette King now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. And now out come the Patriots. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. Brady and the Patriots now first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Throwing now is Brady. Over the middle, that's taken in by Gronkowski. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking to myself is, big man with football. <laughs> Look out, everyone. He may not juke you a whole lot, right? He may not run past you because of his size. You talk about a guy weighing in the 270 range. But boy, once he gets his mitts on the ball, he's going to be tough to bring down. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Go. 
New England on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and six. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. Here's Ryan Allen now, as he's on to punt for New England. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Fielded just inside the 20. 12 yards on the return that time, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And Denver getting set to take the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag, punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old school coaches, don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Keenum going to lead the Broncos up now first and 10 at the 31-yard line. Now a play fake here on first down. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. And their inaugural sack of the game coming from an unlikely source. You mean it wasn't a linebacker? It wasn't a defensive end? It was somebody like you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's a surprise for the offense. That's not what they normally get when they think about pressure. Following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. come to the line they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter we'll return with more after this this is the nfl and it's on ea sports back now in foxborough it's been a very hotly contested game to this point just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Out of the gun, Keenum. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And with a third and 13 here, the defense in a dime look. A shotgun snap for Keenum. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. Holding offense. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. Here's Marquette King now, as he's on to punt for Denver. And this is away, it's a high kick, and he got all of it.
Tom Brady leads the offense out for their next possession. And the passing game, I mean, look at the numbers. It's falling off. When a team is struggling, sometimes you look at the quarterback. When the quarterback starts to struggle, who goes over and picks him up? Yeah, that's always a big one, isn't it? Usually, there's a quarterback whisperer somewhere. And what I mean by that is, whether it's an assistant coach, whether it's one of his best friends on the team, someone that can get in his ear, get with him and say, all right, my man, what do you need? What's going on here? So there's one person he can lean on. He's going to have to lean on that guy right now. To throw is Brady. And Matthews has it right side. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for them there, didn't it? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They got to go thank the guys on D. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They go play action here on first down. Wide open, Gronkowski. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. They give him a gain of 37. Coaches really don't care from what position they get this, but run after the catch ability, rack ability, is often the difference between winning and losing and changing field position. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Wait, 20! Wait, 20! Set! And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he'll be taken down just shy of the red zone at the 21. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Well, they'll take that every time with a lead. First down, fourth quarter, getting eight yards. You love that. They will take it, and you have to ask the defensive guys, why did you give it? I mean, you know the situation. You're down. Have to stop them. Have to get the football back. But eight yards on first down puts them back on their heels. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Two 20. Wait, 20. Again, they run with Burkhead. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Call it a gain is seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. But they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. Wait, 20! From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. That is caught at the seven yard line. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. This is something you gotta be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Here's Brady. This is caught, Gronkowski. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. They've got it second and goal now as they look for that final dagger. From the two now, second and goal. Wait, 20! 
They'll try and pound it in with Burkhead. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. Third down and goal, this Denver defense trying to hold up for one more play. They'll try to run it in with Gillisley. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And Goskowski's kick is good. And they stretch the lead to six. It's 20 to 14 now. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction. All of a sudden, they're down. Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. Solid return. Pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. And Denver getting set to take the field. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked so well. Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Back to throw. Sanders has it over the middle. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. Keenum now. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. They'll look to throw. Throw left side. It's reeled in by Hamilton. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Back 
to throw. And he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. He's back to throw. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off at the 30. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. And that one, oh, it's going to hurt big time. You're in the two-minute drill trying to get your guys down the field, and it's looking like they're going to go up just short, as this is definitely not his best throw. And it'll wind up being intercepted. And the Patriots gearing up to go now. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. The Patriots in the victory formation as they'll take the knee. Brady will take a knee here and that should just about do it. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? <laughs> and the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Patriots winners here at home as we say so long from Foxborough.